Hello, Divine Masculine. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome back to my channel. All right, so we are going to do your Divine Masculine reading for the second half of November, Divine Masculine, okay? So this will be for November the 16th through the 30th, okay? Um, please keep in mind it is general. It is collective. Please only take what resonates. Leave the rest, Divine Masculine, okay? That part is for someone else, okay? If it does not resonate with you, just leave it for the next person. Um, but we're just going to see what is going on with you for the remainder of the month. Let me see what we have coming up. Um, as far as new moon, full moon, blah, 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 blah. I know we just had a full moon, um, but let me... Let me just go ahead and see what we have coming up. Um, I seem to always end up looking this up in Divine Feminine's readings. Um, but I'm going to look it up in yours. I'm doing you first. Um, and if you guys are interested in a couple of more um, Divine Mask and Divine Feminine readings, um, monthly, I know I do two bonus Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine readings on Patreon. So um, the link for Patreon will be below this message. Um, but Patreon gets two extra Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine readings. All right, so it looks like we have a new moon and Sagittarius on the 23rd. So hold that thought. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it for you, Divine Masculine. Um, like I said, it's general. It's collective for the Divine Masculines, all Divine Masculines. Every situation will not apply to you. Um, the best way to do it is just to go with <laughs> what you get from the oracles, okay? Um, and then you will know what's what. Uh, if you haven't already watched previous Divine Masculine videos, definitely go check them out. Um, those messages uh, should still apply now, okay? Um, so... Let's go ahead and get into it. But like I said, um, you guys do have an extra reading over on Patreon. I actually done one um, for you, Divine Masculine, on Patreon. Uh, the title of it is uh, Follow the Light. Uh, he who finds a life and drop the bad habits. <laughs> uh, that was the name of it. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestor Spirit, guys. Those are my eyes, white light, who walk with me every day. What messages do we have for Divine Masculine today? Divine Masculine, what do we have? This is for November the 16th, that, which is today, all right, through the end of the month, okay? So let's see what we have for you, Divine Masculine. Let's see. The sacred waters, nourishment, replenishment, health, rest, self-care. Yeah. Yeah, it's already time to what we were just talking about. All right. This says plant yourself here. Wow. Integration, embodiment, grounded action. All right. All right. So let's see. This is for Divine Masculine for November the 16th through November the 30th. What does Divine Masculine need to be aware of for the rest of this month? Please and thank you. Archangel Michael, please protect me as I channel the messages for Divine Masculine for November the 16th through the 30th. Block any interference that stops their messages from coming through. All right, so we got South Node. Don't let your past hold you back. All right. And then this says a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Okay. All right. So something can have something to do with uh, Libra. Something can also have something to do with your uh, Venus sign. Okay. All right. New romantic cycle begins. All right, now. All right, what do we have for the Divine Masculine at this time? November the 16th through the 30th. So some of you are getting new relationships, healing relationships. You're worrying about yourself. 
you're taking care of yourself. You're resting when you're not working, of course. Yeah, you're becoming more grounded. Wow, oh my God, surrender to the sweetness, Venus energy. <laughs> it says Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. Divine masculine is surrendering. Look at this. And I just said that. So th something definitely deals with Venus. Okay. I feel like some of you too are tapping into your uh, your feminine energy or you're, you're learning how to love. Okay. This says lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. Wow. I love it, Divine Masculine. This is just, I like this. I'm shocked. I am shocked. You know what, though? Uh, okay, I was just about to say, I don't remember what your last reading was about, but I think it was... It was a pivotal point for you guys. Um, yeah, so you, I feel like you've had a very revealing couple of weeks. Um, and I think you're seeing things kind of the more that you stick to yourself, stick to what you know. You know, and, you know, I feel like some of you are just getting more serious. You're ready to settle down is what this is giving me with the grounded action and the romance type of thing. I feel like some of you guys are just getting, you know, you're just getting to a place of like, you know what? Let me worry about me. Let me get me together. Let me worry about me and mine. Get me somebody. Oh, yeah. It looks like you guys are, could be manifesting. Yeah. That's what it looks like. You're worrying about yourself. You're going into isolation. Um, it looks like you're looking from a distance or something like that. Some of you could be looking something up. Some of you are researching something in regards to a leap of faith that you want to take, that you're interested in or something like that. Um, some of you may be afraid to do this. Yeah, I feel like you, you know, something holds you back from this or something like that. Yeah, something changed you. Looks like something that you may have witnessed changed you and it made you want to put up your boundaries. You know, like I said, pull back, pull back your energy on something. I feel like some of you are looking at somebody kind of side eye and I'm like, mm, I don't think I'm a, mm. you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm getting. I feel like you guys are just like, ah, ah. you know what? I think I changed my mind, actually. Okay, okay, Divine Masculine. Yeah, but you're manifesting at this time. You're a magician. Yeah. You also may have seen somebody was trying to play games with you and you was like, I think not. No, I think I'm a pass. Yeah. So you got the two of pentacles here. So juggling energy, uh, making two things work at once. I feel like you guys really are acting as magician. You're balancing things out. All right. You got the two of cups here. Some of you could just be balancing uh, work and, and life and home and or whatever the two things is. The number 22 could be significant or the number two in general. Okay. What do we have for Divine Masculine? Second half of the month, you got the Queen of Cups here. Okay, so very sweet energy. Someone who's kind, compassionate, loving, caring, intuitive, childbearing. You got the Tower here. Okay, so something is blowing up. It, it looks like something is something is going to, um, you got Divine Intervention here. All right, you got the Fool. All right, so it looks like some of you are taking a, new, a leap of faith. You have a new beginning here, all right? Some of you are just moving away from a situation, all right? Or now that something has blown up, it's just kind of smooth sailing or, you know, I feel like for some of you, the tower has uh, happened, okay? Some of you can avoid a tower too um, by moving away from a situation. Something may be too top heavy. Um, someone could be stressing you out. For some of you, uh, you could have someone you know, a, a feminine that stress, like, it's just, it's a struggle. Um, I don't know, maybe even, I guess 
staying in smooth waters with this feminine. I'm not sure what the what the problem is yet. Um, I don't know if somebody was trying to play games here and juggle you. It appears so with the magician and the two of pentacles. Maybe that shocked you and that's what made you leap away from this partnership or something like that. Okay. Um, but it looks like you are being spiritually led at this time. Let's see. Towards somebody, some partnership. Okay. So it looks like you, you, you're uh, distancing yourself from one person possibly. And you're moving towards someone else, okay? You got the king of swords, okay? Um, very serious energy, stern, calculated, intelligent, okay? So it looks like you're kind of uh, thinking out this move or something like that. You're weighing your options. You're really thinking things through here is what this is giving me with the two of pentacles and the king of swords, I feel like you're strategizing something. You're strategizing whatever this change is, implementing this change. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. All right, give me more for Divine Masculine for the second half of the month, November the 16th through the 30th. What do we have for Divine Masculine? Wow, you got the King of Wands. So you take an action. All right, it looks like you're taking action. You're going for a gift, going after a gift, or maybe you're going looking for a gift. I don't know. Maybe you want to present someone with a gift. Okay. Something can have something to do with money, but I don't think so. I think it's an actual gift. You got the five of wands here. I don't know. Maybe somebody could owe you some money. But I just see it's a lot of bickering here. Like I said, someone like stresses you out is what this looks like. Or this is what they're doing in the second half of November. Okay. Yeah, you definitely have new love here. But something keeps you in your head. Or you just think about or, this person all day or... Or this is the other person now. This doesn't this this doesn't have to be you. This could be the other person um, who you're dealing with or who you're going towards or who you're walking away from. Like I said, something is very stressful here is what it looks like to me. It does look like this feminine was juggling you and someone else. Or that is what's been talked about. Maybe some of you were involved with someone, but it looks like someone is... Uh, dealing with someone else okay um this actually came out in a reading today mm. it came out in the Sagittarius reading yesterday yeah Act, it, it literally came out like um, the king of wands was the center of the reading and everything yeah Mm hmm. So make sure you're not going backwards. I feel like we, we kind of touched on this, but some of you, like it says, don't let your past hold you back. A new romantic cycle begins. I feel like some of you are still trying to dibble and dab with someone that you might share a child with or you have history with or something like that. But this person isn't good for your health or for your self-care, or for your stability. They're just not good for you, Divine Masculine. Looks like somebody just stresses you out. <sighs> you know, it just is always a third-party situation um, or something like that. Yeah. The um, major arcana for the second half of your month is the Magician, the Tower, and the Fool. Um, I believe it was something like that. If you haven't watched the Sagittarius reading, definitely go watch it. Um, I believe it was only three major icon in that reading as well. And I believe the two cards were the fool in the tower or something like that. Okay. Two of them were anyway. But you got new love here, Divine Master. I feel like you're being guided to take a leap of faith. Okay, but right, we'll see.
you need to work with your spirit guides as well, okay? Um, with the Six of Swords and the Three of Pentacles being here, you need to, I feel like some of you need to, like, you need to surrender, okay? Surrender to love, okay? It says surrender to the sweetness, Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. Like some of you need to just, surrender so i feel like some of you too may be uh hope, trying to hold together a partnership or you just keep going back to someone who keeps playing with you you know that's what it's giving me give me the magician please something is definitely blowing up something could have something to do too with legal representation uh, maybe you need to look into it that could be what you're looking up um because the page of swords is right here with the eight of swords we got the three of pentacles we got the king of swords uh, definitely look into it. Um, yeah. Can I get one, please, on the Magician for Divine Masculine? November the 16th through the 30th. Yeah. So you need to walk away from something um, or, or something like that. Now, listen. It's the same thing, Divine Masculine. You got the Page of Swords right here. The Page of Swords is right here. You got the Tower right underneath the Magician with the Eight of Cups. And you got the Tower right here. Um, something could actually have something to do with some, uh, some actual time. Okay. Um... I just feel like there could be, there could be something here though with someone. Um, I feel like something is going to shock you. I will say that. I feel like somebody has been kind of running a play here and manipulating a play. Okay. Um, I do feel like someone is watching someone here. I will say that. Or someone has been watching you for a while. I will say that. Okay. So, but I do feel like something has happened, a complete, something can have something to do with someone's money. Um, but that could be someone watching your money, Divine Masculine. Okay. Um, you need to watch your money. Uh, some of you need to look into your investments, maybe check it out. And maybe some of you, some of you, something could have something to do with moving money. Or somebody, you just need to, some of you need to really just, you know, check, make sure you, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, this kind of gives me just, mm, you know what I'm saying? Or that could be what this is. Something could, something could have something to do with you know, some other activities and things like that. You know, I don't know if somebody playing with your money or playing with your something, but you need to be keeping a close eye um, on something. Give me one more, though, on the magician before we move on. We only have three major arcana, so we have time to get one more. Uh, but something is dealing with that. The magician in the Eight of Cups, somebody's left. Somebody's leaving. They left. Um... Yeah, so somebody's going to a new territory. Um, I feel like I I feel like something is um in regards to love, I feel like you're manifesting. It's gonna take you to leave where you're at. You're gonna leave where you're currently at. Um, because something is like uh it's time for you to move on. Something is gonna if you don't move on from where you're at, like whatever you're in, this family dynamic, I feel like you're moving too slow on something. You may even be stuck in your head about it, okay, with the eight of swords here. But I feel like you need to move away from the family dynamic that you already have or whatever community or group. I feel like you need to just kind of put some space in between you and your crowd. You feel me? I, I don't, I feel like you got, I don't know what, what's going on. Uh, but I feel like, I feel like you need to start, you need to take something a little bit more serious. Okay, 
um, some of you, you need to take something a little bit more serious. For some of you, you have. You already left a situation. You've already left a certain group or or something like that. It's like basically like kind of no turning back. You're just you're you're leaving it behind you and you're going into a new, you know, you're gaining a new perspective and uh, you know, something like that. But give me one on the tower, please, for divine masculine. The tower. Why is the tower here for divine masculine for the second half of November spirit? Why is the tower here for divine masculine? What is the divine masculine? Dang, divine masculine. <laughs> Thank you. The three of cups. So, so yeah, it's almost giving me like party being over. I don't know what's going on. I feel like some of you are just wasting time, money, energy, like something is blowing up here. Or someone, I mean, that's the same thing that we just had. Ooh, Divine Masculine. Something can have something to do with a friend of yours, Divine Masculine. I really think that you need to kind of... Oh, I don't even know what that was. I feel like they're saying... Something to have something to do with your actual residence. Maybe you need to get a security camera or something like that. You feel me? Like something to have something to do with your friend. Or you need to take something more serious. I feel like, I really honestly feel like I don't know why you always getting this kind of energy to my mask on, but I feel like you need to, I really honestly feel like you need to watch your friend. And I hate to say that, but that's what this is giving me. There's a really bad ending here. It's a really bad ending. What's up with this King of Swords? Just, I don't even know what to ask about the King of Swords. Just give me something on this King of Swords. Okay. So something can have something to do. I feel like you need to, Divine Masculine, I feel like, I feel like you need to take something serious as far as like, this could be who you give like your information to. I feel like someone is like, someone is working with their, like your friend is working with another friend. Give me a, give me one more on this page of wands and the King of Swords, please. King of Swords and the Page of Wands. The King, I meant the Queen of Wands. So something deals with, something is definitely a third party situation, Divine Masculine. You need to watch that, watch who you're dealing with because it's going to be like a fast, quick change here. Okay. Something's going to be fast. Something's going to be fast. It's going to be heartbreaking. Okay. Now, this could be you doing something fast, but you're going to see something. You're going to see the truth about the situation. Um, and something's going to leave you sad. It is. For some of you, this has already happened, but... There's definitely a third party situation here. I feel like something something definitely deals, you know, if if there's something where you need to you you just need to take initiative here. 
maybe you need to you need to message someone or something like that or uh i feel like you need something like you need a piece of information or you need confirmation or something like that give me one more on the tower divine masculine okay i don't know yeah, the Tower and the Three of Cups, please, for Divine Masculine. The Stream Card, yeah, you've been hard-headed, you've been stubborn. That's what this is. I feel like I feel like you need someone needs to tell you something or you need to get some kind of information, okay, from somebody. Somebody is very abundant, okay? They have what you need as far as information. Somebody is like the queen of receipts or they can confirm something for you. You need some kind of confirmation and you need to take it serious because you holding something up is what it looks like to me. Queen of Pentacles, the hangman, six of swords, the fool, knight of cups. The sooner you do something, the sooner something will be good for you. Okay. Um, you also need to, you, you need to refrain too from going to some kind of party. You could have a party that you're supposed to go to the second half of this month. Yeah, you could be going to some kind of party. It could be like a house party or something like that. You don't need to go to that house party or you don't need to throw a house party. Yeah, because there's something going on with that. Let me get one on the full. Yeah, something's coming up. Yeah, just I feel like I feel like something. Yeah, you need to you need to uh, like something deals with you know this energy right here. Um, I feel like somebody is manipulating a situation or manipulating something. I really feel like something is more so of a plan. Give me one, one more on this magician. Now, divine masculine. <laughs> um, let me get one on the, um, magician. Give me one more on what this is on the magician. What's going on with this magician card? Second half of November for divine masculine. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. No, just, I mean, I just feel like you need to sit something out and you need to heal, okay? You need to sit something out and heal um, because if you go to whatever this house party is or whatever this is at somebody's house or whatever the case, um, maybe you invited by a third party or somebody wants you to go, don't do it. I feel like something is a setup. I'm going to just be honest with you. I feel like somebody is... Uh, playing a trick on you or something like that. I hate to say it. Why, why is it like that? Or this is what happened. Maybe you're looking for answers and something is just being confirmed to you about someone or something. Okay. Um, I feel like somebody is playing with you. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm getting that strongly. You got the tower out here twice. Okay. And we keep seeing the magician. We keep seeing the King of Swords. Like, uh uh. Mm -mm. You need to leave something behind. This could have something. Something could have something to do. Um, something. Okay, so this could be like your boy putting you on to a feminine. Okay. Or a feminine introducing you to one of her friends or something like that. But you need to you need to uh be aware of, of something that's going on here. Okay. Um you need to watch where you're going. Um, watch who you're dealing with. Watch where you're going. Okay. Watch something in your travels. Or watch who you're traveling with. Because I feel like something has something to do with one of your friends, one of your buddies. Yeah. I feel like you're friends with somebody, like you're buddies with somebody, and then like, the buddy, your buddy and like a feminine are buddies outside of you. You know what I'm saying? Is what this is giving me. And I feel like something is going to be very, whatever this is with this party or whatever this is, I feel like it's just going to not be good. Give me one more on the tower. Okay. Let me just, 
Let me get one more on the tower here. Is something going on with some kind of party, partying, having a good time, a friend of yours, a friend group, and there's something that you need to refrain from, okay? I mean, and this could be anything, eating their food, drinking their drinks. They're just saying don't go, period. With the Eight of Cups here, just don't go. Don't even go. Go in the opposite direction. Turn your back on it, go in the opposite direction. Because somebody, you're you walking right into a trap here. Give me one more on the tower, the Three of Cups and the Strength for Divine Masculine. I hate. You need to watch your surroundings and watch who you're dealing with. Okay? Um, you do. Okay? Um, it looks like you either you're a master manipulator, but I doubt that because you're a divine masculine. Okay? When you're divine, it's just some things you don't do. I do feel like you may have an enemy here, but it's a friend. Okay? Something that's an illusion. Something could actually have something to do with someone trying to put something in a drink or uh, offer you a drink like, hey, buddy, here's a beer. Da, 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 da. I say don't go. Uh, I don't, I, I'm, I'm really picking up. Look at this, though. Ain't that, that's, that's you, a buddy, and a feminine. All right. So it could be a feminine inviting you. Hey, let's go to Richard's house. You know, maybe. and I'm just saying, and I don't know nobody named Richard. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> but I'm just saying, but like somebody could just be like, hey, let's da 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 and it's just going to be bad. Like I said, look at this, Divine Masculine. Watch your step. All right. If you know who this could be, Divine Feminine, you wa you watching, cross-watching for Divine Masculine, and it's your buddy or your friend, and you know they probably had a worse friends or something. Look at this. This is a couple of people. But something could just be a betrayal here, too. I feel like somebody playing you, your own friend is playing you, is what this gives me. I'm not going to lie. Maybe it's a group of friends, but I feel like I feel like you mutual friends, you and your lady or whoever group of friends is, or whoever the mutual friend is in your relationship, I feel like that person in regards to relationship, this person could be dealing with who you're dealing with. And they just act like they're platonic friends. They may, this person may have even, the person sleeping with your person may have even introduced you to your person. I don't know. It's something weird like that divine and masculine. You need to look into something, look up something. Um, there is burden out here. There's competition. There's tit for tat, petty gossip, all of that. This could be you being talked about in the second half of, of the month or something like that. But I feel like you you have a blindfold on and you have yourself, um, you know, in a self-made prison or something. You're committed to someone who's not committed to you is what it's giving me. Give me one more on the fool. And then I got to go to my mask. I'm trying to stretch out your reading because it's kind of short, but you're just going to have to, you know, maybe something is just six, but that's going to get you hurt. Let me get one on the uh the the fool and the three of wands. You got the ten of cups, so this could actually be your actual family. You're gonna have to take something serious. You're gonna have to make a head over heart decision, okay? Um, when it's dealing with somebody, this person that's trying to manipulate you or or that keeps you in this illusion or that what what is tower coming from could actually be someone that you actually look at as family. For some of you, this could actually be someone y'all were born in the same family. If not born, but you, you were raised like in the same neighborhood, y'all come from the same place. Or the same community or something. You you could look at this person as a brother. But it's something about the feminine here though. Give me one on the Queen of Cups. What's this? Is something being said or talked about? Give me this on the Queen of Cups. Why why is the Queen of Cups here? 
What position does the Queen of Cups play? You got a justice card here. <sighs> okay. It's like somebody trying to manipulate the system. It's like, so this person is just playing a part in manipulating you and distracting you from you getting your justice. That's what this looks like. Like if I put all these swords around you or manipulate you, somebody's playing a trick. This is someone playing a joke with you. They're playing a trick on you or a joke or something like that. Ooh. Oh, uh-uh. <sighs> Divine Masculine, you got a tower the second half of this month. Okay, um, it's something that you need to do, um, and something can be confirmed or something will be confirmed, okay? It's like you can overcome whatever this is, like you will have a reason to celebrate, like if you can, if you can refrain from doing something or not be hard-headed or something like, or you know what I'm saying? Like if you could really like be true to yourself or something like that in the second half of this month, then like I said, follow the light. That's what your message was that I did on Patreon. You need to follow the light. Cause I feel like you are just playing with some real dark energy. Somebody could have Libra highly aspected. But this person is, that doesn't apply to everybody, but somebody keeps you conflicted. Mm hmm They keep you conflicted. But I feel like, I feel like this says you've done this before. So it looks like you may stay in the same cycle. Some of you do have new love here. Some of you, this doesn't apply to you. Um, You know, I just feel like some of you could be, you know, getting into a relationship or something like that of the sort. I feel like something that you manifested is going to shock you. Uh, maybe you're manifesting a... Um, you know, a message from someone. Maybe you're going to actually get the message or, and that's going to shock you. So this could be a good tower for some of you. It could be a great tower. Um, you could run across somebody in your travels or something like that. Um, something's going to make you very happy. Okay. Because someone, it does look like something or someone is coming in for some of you, but I feel like for some of you, you need to turn your back on something or someone or a group of people. Yeah. But I'm going to just, you know, I feel like it's your message is kind of like, mm, you know. Mm. But with the justice card being out here, I feel like all is going to be made well. I just feel like you may have a bit of an obstacle you may have to get over a hump in the second half of these two months. Maybe this has already happened. Maybe this tower has already happened. And maybe this reading is just confirmation for you. And you're just like, ugh. And like, I had an inkling, but you know what I'm saying? I feel like something is a humbling experience for you. I do. I feel like... I feel like you may have avoided whatever this is. Maybe you didn't go to the party. Maybe you didn't fall for the crap. You feel me? It just depends. You know, we're on all different parts of our, our journey. So, but it does say don't let your past hold you back. Okay, so don't be stubborn. You know, wherever you feel it before in your journey, remember that. Like, where did, what part did I fall at? What part did I slip up? Okay, look at that. You got gratitude. I'm going to go ahead and pull you one more. Okay. Make sure you're showing homage. You're praying divine masculine. All right. 
It does say plant yourself here. Integration, embodiment, grounded action. So you need to show gratitude. Show, give thanks. Okay. What else we got for divine masculine? Courage. Yeah, you're going to have to go ahead and do it with guidance. Yeah, you're being guided at this time um, to do something. And I feel like you're just kind of sitting there and not doing anything. That you Maybe you're being prideful. But you're going to have to like not do that. Okay. Um, it says gratitude. Fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. Okay. And this says, let me be open to courageously take the steps that are shown. Okay. So you've been getting some kind of advice or this is the advice. Okay. I'm just saying, maybe do your research, think about it, something like that. Okay. Um, maybe think about sitting this one out. Like I said, don't go like, this is what they're saying. Like you need to decline something. Someone could be giving you something. This could even be who got, oh, that was on Patreon. Somebody may be inviting you to, uh, to do something. I'm going to say this, go watch the, uh, um, I believe it was the Taurus November, um, the Taurus November preview. And um, I believe it said, uh, say no. Okay, so uh, you you may be getting an, an invite that you may need to say no to. See what I'm saying? Maybe something is star studded. You're thinking about going, but they're just telling you like eight of cups, ten, five of pentacles, Seven of Wands, four of, four of Cups. Maybe sit this one out, okay? Don't go or decline respectfully or something like that, okay? Um, but it says guidance. When you make divine intelligence your foundation, you finally have a fixed start to follow. All right? So go where you are led. If something's kind of pulling on you and you don't, you know, don't force it, you know, um, but anyway, I'm going to leave it there, Divine Mask. And that is your reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, yeah, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to y'all next time. Bye.